please welcome Mohir Singh. He's a senior QM manager at Tech Company. So, Mohir, he was volunteered to answer those questions. We, um, so, Mahir, let's say the candidate uh, passed the phone screening with the uh, register, right? And you will have a phone interview with him, or like face-to-face -face interview, whatever, it's uh, in the process. So what are you looking in the candidate? So it's a great question. What is the mic? Thanks. Uh, before I answer uh, this, uh, Enrico and the team, thank you so much for organizing this great event. And uh, thank you so much for the things that was so awesome. Yeah, pass it on Yeah, just say one. Uh, okay, so uh, it's a great question. Thank you so much. Uh, the way uh, I personally see, uh, every individual is a qualified individual. It's all about the fitment. Now, I, I, I will categorize the fitment in uh, three uh, broader sections. First, fitment to the company culture. Mm -hmm. Second, personality and interest. And third is, of course, technology. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, I let's say I have a position I, and I am looking for an automation engineer. I would rather not prefer to hire a candidate who is really, really, really strong because I will not be able to provide an opportunity enough to grow or I might not have. So I will probably look for a person who know, knows one tool and want to try something new. <coughs> Coming to the culture or the company treatment. This is very, very important. Uh, I will look for a person who is ready to be a team player, mm -hmm. who is ready to support. The way I also an, uh, analyze a candidate, how much he contributes to make an individual, to make other team members more successful. That way, we will be able to build a culture where we share and learn together. The third one was the personality. I want, of course, I will look for a person who has a pretty dynamic personality, who can go and get the things done, who is able to take the ownership and accountability. That is the most important uh, when it comes to delivery. So that's a, um, in a broad sense. Did I answer your question? Yeah, pretty much. What about, uh, do you have any favorite questions? Can you share with us? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, la um, in the last few years, uh, uh, me being a hiring manager, one of my favorite questions was, how you handle a frustrated manager? <laughs> That's a good one. So uh, pretty uh, interesting answers I get. Uh, one of the answers, probably one of, uh, one of my ex-colleague, uh, um, she responded uh, in the interview, uh, probably I will just shut down my laptop and we we'll go home. I will, I will prefer to respond tomorrow. <laughs> All right, anything, any, any other favorite questions you might have? Yes, in terms of technology, uh, we, I mean, the way I uh, get, uh, the way I, uh, ask question in terms of technology is try to uh, put, uh, try to ask a question which a tool cannot support. For example, pretty popular tool Selenium. We all, we all use it, right? Web UI automation, right? I always ask the question, how can you automate a desktop application using Selenium? I have seen 99% of people will say it's not possible. Anybody, anyone here can, uh, can uh, tell me if it's possible. Automating a desktop application with Selenium WebDriver. Uh, 
depends on what you're doing. Like you can use Chrome to access the file system and do some basic manipulation so you can say you're testing desktop. Right, but it's a stretch. Good question, food for thought, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> think, think to from, uh, see what auto IT can bring in. No. What's it, no? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, so, the, so the, I, I try to challenge um, um, and, and, and encourage people to think beyond. Uh, because right now, the, if you look at the... Uh, 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 Google is doing a uh, lot of things for us these days. Most of the information is available. Uh, so the traditional work is being, can easily be Google these days. So. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go with the third one. So what are the red flags for you when you interview in candidate? What's like no go for you? Um, it's pretty tricky. I mean, usually I always think positive, and uh, uh, it's pretty hard to say some someone is not good. The way I see is uh, if I don't have an opportunity for an, an individual. Let's say, as I was giving an example, I am an automation engineer, and I've been and I got uh, an opportunity to interview an architect. Probably. I would love to, but can I afford it? Second thing, uh, sometimes when, uh, you know, if I see uh, someone is not articulative enough, uh, because there are, you know, people have great ideas, but if it's not presentable enough, it's of no use. So these are some of the things uh, um, I always try to see people are able to articulate pretty well. Uh, they, they are, and, and also uh, sometimes, you know, I mean, it's one of my strategy. I ask sometimes very tough questions, and I want people to respond than react. Nice. So, so uh, those are, if, if, if thing goes other way, that of course is a kind of flag uh, that I would love to avoid. Totally, makes sense. All right. How about, uh, can you give any resume tips? Like, what are you looking into? I mean, you probably see a lot of resumes, right, during maybe a week or when you hire someone. So what the resume which stands you out and looks like that you want to actually to pick from others? Sure, great question, very tough question also. <laughs> uh, one of the common things that I figured it out, uh, we, we make big, good, big resumes, everything is bold in the resumes, but one thing most of the resumes missed out of the competition is the storyline. Um, I always want, when I read the resume, I want to make out of it what the individual wants. If I'm able to figure it out, what is expected, what the individual is looking for, that's the right resume. One other thing also I've seen, which I don't want to say, is everything is highlighted bold. <laughs> then, what, and also, to give probably more details to it, let's say Selenium. An individual has worked in the last six years uh, in the six, the six different projects in Selenium. All six projects, Selenium is bold. All <laughs> over. If we do once, we're good. Sec and then uh, I always try to, uh, I mean, I am most, more interested to know when I read the resume how, the, how an individual has grown. For example, an individual working as an automation engineer from the last 10 years, that seems a little fact to me. Again, and then um, I try to avoid reading lengthy resumes. Because I believe communication is, is the key for, for the business we are in. And a couple of pages should be good enough to explain ourselves. Okay. That would be actually my next question, but <laughs> really good. All right, uh, anything else? Now, we actually can, I mean, guys, you can ask, 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 ask questions if you want, but don't go too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> don't, we have a... Yeah, thank you for the opportunity of asking questions. Yeah. 
So I didn't get that, like you said, uh, automation, right? Engineer throughout the career of 10 years or something, right? Long. I didn't get what exactly you meant by that. Uh, sure. I mean, what is important um, when it comes to career, the growth becomes the key, right? So I want to see how an individual has grown in terms of his career. For example, um, an individual started the career as a trainee, became engineer, senior engineer, lead, automation, I mean, something different. I mean, keep on moving up, architect, and again, I mean, he tried to be an architect. He didn't like it. That's fine. He came back to an engineer. But, but something different, how, how the growth looks like. It should be uptrending. Else? Yep. Um, if you were hiring for a senior uh, QA engineer or a senior test automation engineer, uh, could you give us more questions that you would ask to get a uh, better assessment of their technical aptitude? Sure. Good question, which one? First thing, um, what is, I um, mean, if you look at the quality engineering, it's a, it's a diff very different skill set. The most important is it should come in the person, uh, I mean the quality, should, quality engineering should come within the personality. An individual must need to have tests to break attitude. Most of the time we feel very happy when our automation shows green color. I personally feel very excited when, when it turns red because that makes me more excited. Hey, it looks like I found a bug. So, so that's, uh, um, so test to break attitude should be there. Um, in automation especially, uh, I'm not a big fan of a particular tool. Um, every, all tools are good depending upon the situation. Um, but when it comes to hiring a talent in terms of uh, an automation, I want a person to think holistically is ready to try different tool sets depending upon the requirement. One other thing Dennis was uh, talking about security. One of the, one of the, uh, I, mean, I mean, from the automation perspective, also most of the time we miss that part. So people should be thinking on those perspective whether whether this particular thing is mentioned in the requirement or not. So that's how I mean that's the mindset um, I would love to to have an, to uh, to hire. In fact. Ma'am, you had a question. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so I'm just starting as a junior QA, and I'm wondering um, what are some ways that I can stand out uh, compared to other candidates, being that I have such little experience um, because I'm just starting this branch of my career. Very good question. Hi. Be open. The, I mean, as, as, as a fresher, um, the most important part is your attitude. Nobody is going to expect you that you will build rocket overnight. People understand it. But what will make you successful is your personality and your attitude. Show your hungerness. Being, me being a hiring manager, if I see a hungerness in an individual, that's my first, uh, that, 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 I will be more interested to talk to those individuals. Show your hungerness. Be open to ideas. Read as much as you can. Think as much as you can. Try to relate as much as you can in your uh, in in your daily day, daily living. So these things will certainly help you. Uh, YouTube is great channel. Watch as much as you can for for, for the testing. <laughs> right, there's, uh, I mean, in addition to that, you can join to our bootcamp that we are doing uh, to become more technical. We do a manual who want to transition to automation and actually for people who want to get into uh, testing field in general. But as I, uh, Mohit said, that there is a lot of resources in YouTube, Udemy, uh, Udacity, there is bunch of resources. You have to force yourself to 
absorb all these things, and you have to know what you want. And it's a great career, huge opportunity. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Yep. Anybody else? Oh, we have one. So, do you prefer hiring like an individual who has strong like analytical skills, or who is strong in like, coding skills? To answer your question, analytical skills. Great question. Anybody else? No. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, that was very